Hi guys, you're all very welcome here at Blackstone Motors. On behalf of Noel and Donal, it's great to see so many faces and new customers I can see and our customers. We hope you have a great night and enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul. Lads, I tried to get him to give a car away for every goal he scored, but he won't do it, unfortunately. Um, he mentioned Donald and Noel there. The Donald and Noel that he referenced are uh, Donald Waters and Noel Stewart, who are the owners of Blackstone Motors. And ladies and gentlemen, just like you, they support Dundalk FC, and I think they deserve a big round of applause for it as well. Well, you know, uh, it's great to be at Dundalk. It's a great football club. Maybe uh, some great years, a couple of years ago, it was a great squad, We've got a great bunch of players here, and they got the right attitude, baby. They said they got to have the right attitude. That's what it's all about, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, the club captain and main striker, Patrick Hooban. <laughs> Patrick, I think it's fair to say you, you love playing for Dundalk, but you also love the town. You're, I, I don't think of you as a Galway man anymore. I kind of think of you as... Well, I'm not from here, so I can say one of them. Yeah, for sure. Um, when I first came to Dundalk in 2013, it reminded me a lot of home. So, like, I'm from Lockray. It's a big enough town, and uh, it's just Dundalk's a bigger version. And, you know, I've loved every minute since I've been here. You maybe had a, a choice to make at one stage of your life because you were decent at hurling as well. What was it about football that got you involved with that? Uh, soccer is always number one. Um, but hurling, you see, I didn't have a bad side. You see, my bad side wasn't great, so I was never going to progress in hurling. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, playing football was always number one, and um, I just went from there, really. Did you know that Robert De Niro is a fan of yours? Big I hope fan so. of yours. Great actor. Yeah, fantastic. He's here now, actually. No, I got, I got to tell you, I'm a big fan of you. I'm a fan of what you're doing. You're doing a lot for the town. You are. You're doing a lot for the town. Can you believe it? In my notes, it was. Oh, he's from La Cree. Maybe you could talk about that as Robert De Niro. Pesci. Joe Pesci's also a big fan of yours. Let me tell you something. I got to tell you. You're doing it. This... What are you laughing at? Ladies and gentlemen, Louis Ainsley and Cameron Elliott. <laughs> Lads, how are you? How you doing, all right? Yeah, all good. Okay, the accents are a giveaway. You're Cameron and you're Louis. Um, Louis. You're 22, you've come here from Blackburn. You've actually played international football with Gibraltar. Talk to me about why you came to Dundalk. I just think that the gaffer sold it to me from conversation one, to be fair. Um, it's a perfect platform for me to go on now and try and exceed what I want to do with my career. And I think, yeah, as I said, it's a platform for me to show what I can do. Cammy, can I call you Cammy? Yep. What brought you to Dundalk? And don't say Stevie O'Donnell. No, just the first conversation I had with the gaffer obviously went well and then just obviously the, the history of the club and stuff like that and it was a great opportunity for me to come full time so no, I was really looking forward to it. What do you like about the town? Because I'm sure you've spent a bit of time here now and you've got to see a bit of it. Uh, well, that's, that's me been here about three weeks now so no, it's, it's a nice wee place. Um, different from a hometown, uh, just a wee place in the Ayrshire called Bees, but no, nah, it's, it's a lot bigger, um, no, nah, I'm really enjoying it so far. When I think of a Louis, do I think of Louis van Gaal? Like, you know, from one Louis to another, I think, uh, fantastic, you keep doing what you have to do, defend the set pieces, great, work on it in training, all good, all good, okay, Louis van Gaal, stand up, army! It is the Blackstone Motors preview night of the 2023 season. I, I just cannot wait to get back to matches and get back to Oriel Park. As a neutral who isn't from the town, who isn't a Dundalk fan, but a, a follower of the club, it's one of the best places you can watch football. But you don't need me to tell you that, do you? Um, one man who knows all about that is the Chief Operating Officer of the club. Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Connolly. Give me an insight into what it's like to be involved in the running of a football club. What time are you finishing at? You know, like every day is a different day. And, and um, I just said to somebody today, you go, you go in every day with a list of stuff to do. You get that many phone calls or people coming into your office that you actually leave work 
and you haven't done one thing that was on your list to do. It's, it's, it's that sort of job, you know, it's, it's just, you know, I left my office at 10 to 6 tonight. My wife was shouting at me, where are you? And I was here at 10 to 7. It's just crazy. But you obviously love it because this is your, your second stint involved. Like, you, you came back. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. It's like, it's like Bobby Ewing in the shower. It didn't happen, like, you know, it's... Yeah. All the older ones are laughing. All the younger ones are going, who's Bobby Ewing? I bet you can't wait for the season to get going. Yeah, I need to get my steps up on a Friday night. <laughs> you know, so look, yeah, l listen, y y you have to be passionate and you have to want the games, you know, and, and, and um, you know, the, 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 the close season doesn't be long going round, I can tell you, you know, and uh, everybody complains that it's a long time from November to February. If you're in my job, it's not. It just flies through, you know. Our, our season ticket sales have been really good. Same as, you know, around about same as last year. We're, 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 we'll, um, you know, Stephen's working hard and putting the squad together. So roll on Friday week or Friday morning. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Operating Officer of Dundalk FC, Martin Connolly. We're about to meet two more players who you know well at this stage. Greg Sloggett and Ryan O'Kane. <laughs> Greg, you're, you're a Meath man, but you're popular in Laos which says an awful lot about how much these fans love you. Yeah, I would have gone to school actually in Drada, um, but... Sure, that's me. <laughs> but... <laughs> but Dundalk has quickly become my choice of town in uh, Lael, so... Um, no, yeah, um, I've, I've found home here, and uh, it's, it's, it's only a stone's throw away for me to get home really so as well, so... Um, no, I love here. Ryan, you couldn't be more Dundalk if you tried. How does it feel for your hometown club to probably always wanted to play for growing up? Yes, I remember. I was 10, 11, going up to the games myself, going to all the cup finals and stuff. So, uh, yes, when I signed three years, it was a dream come true. You're both Manchester United fans, right? Yep. We actually have a few former United players and a United legends. Yeah, I think, you know what, I'll start off with Gary Neville, I think absolutely. I mean, you, you touched on the point, some of the young players coming in, they absolute, they invigorate the squad, it's absolutely fantastic, but the Glazers are to blame for everything, so just go with that. You know, as well, I mean, with David Beckham, I, I think, I mean, what are United are missing are set-piece specialists. I mean, Christian Eriksen, corners aren't the best, you know. But I think when we bring it as well, we, I mean, the centre-backs are good. Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Slog and Ryan O'Kane. Okay, are we ready for one more interview? Ladies and gentlemen, he was an absolute legend as a player. He's building up a good reputation as a manager and head coach. Stephen O'Dowell. Before we look ahead, let's look behind. How do you reflect on last season, which I would suggest ended really well. I mean, getting into Europe, that is no mean feat, considering how late you put the squad together and the challenges, the other challenges that you would have had. Yeah, I thought it was, from the players, like it was a fantastic achievement. I was saying it all season long, if, if, we, will, if we get Europe, don't underestimate the achievements, because it can be sort of overlooked in regards. This club's used to winning leagues, winning cups, getting the group stages, but from where the club was last December, um, you know, just formulating basically and no squad, no players. Um, to do that, uh, I thought it was an unbelievable effort from the players. So um, we're looking to add to that now this year and, and really looking forward to it. There's been a few ins and outs and um, I think we have a fresh group. We have quite an athletic group and a good age profile of the players that came in, young, hungry players that, that want to get better. Stephen, obviously, We've, 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 we've said how you achieved legendary status as a player and I think you're on, on the way as a head coach and when you do things like that you earn a lot of notoriety and celebrity fans and some of them are actually here to have a word with you. Some big names from the world of football and entertainment. Yeah, I just wanted to start with, with Steve and Kenny as well. Uh, I'm very proud of the, the job you're, you're doing at the moment. It's very good. Uh, great spot of young players here, so fair play to you. Well done. Uh, 
wasn't just uh, football, there's a couple of boxing in there as well. Katie Taylor here, just want to say. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure being here, Stephen, how are you? Um, you know, been a bit of a blow today with uh, not getting the fine crow park, but you know, listen, if Oriel Park is uh, Martin, Martin, if you're here, if Oriel Park's free, absolutely, I mean, we'd love to do it, it'd be fantastic. <laughs> And then I want to end it with Donald Trump. I just want to say I am so sorry, so sorry for that, that fool. He never knows where he is. He, he's so rude. Massive apologies to the Bohemian supporters here this evening. You got... No, no, no. Done, dog. Done, dog. Guys, thank you so much for having me. It really is a great pleasure. Stephen, what a pleasure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of everyone in the Dog FC and everyone in Blackstone Motors, uh, thank you for coming and enjoy the League of Ireland season 2023.